Tommy, second time lucky ahead of our trip to Gateshead. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Um, well, we, we know the task ahead of us. They're, they're a, a good outfit, good side. Um, and they've secured themselves a place in the playoffs already. So, you know, we're under no illusions. It's not an easy place to go. Um, like I said, a very good opposition. So it's a game we look forward to. It's, it's right in front of us. But um, it would be handy if we'd have been able to play it last week. But we weren't. So we, we look at it again tomorrow. As you said, they secured it last night for themselves, but that won't mean that they're giving up, will it? It's not like they're going to roll to one side and let us try and, and, and secure it for ourselves. Yeah, not at all. I mean, yeah, they're very professional in their the management and what have you. So their approach would be no different. You know, just because Chesterfield haven't won games readily since they've won the league, it doesn't mean, you know, they, they don't, you can't blame them for that. It's Teams have got a bit more to play for them than they have now. You know, records and that are great, but ultimately they'll be remembered for winning the league and, and winning it comfortably. So, you know, I have no, no qualms with the way things have gone. Um, and we've got to turn up. We've got to, we've got to make sure we're improved on our performance on from Saturday. I think to a man, you've got to say Boreham Wood worked harder than us, even enough all over the pitch. Um, and that was the biggest disappointment for us, really. But it's gone, you know, and we've got to move straight on to the next one. And... Uh, We've got two games in, what is it, just short of 72 hours. So it'll be a big ask. I think the team will change both for Wednesday and again on Saturday. So um, we're just looking, you know, to, to get on with the game, really. It is important to remember, though, isn't it, that, you know, here we are with two games left and we've still got it all to fight for. So, you know, is, is that what your message to the players is? Just, just go out there and leave all you can because that's all we can do. Yeah, I mean, we've never given them the target of reaching the playoffs or staying in the playoff positions whilst we were in there. We just try to encourage them to continue to do the things that they were doing to get them there. One or two have managed to keep their levels at a certain uh, height. Some haven't. And therefore, the group hasn't been as consistent as it was earlier in the season. It's quite weird because the numbers now are a lot stronger. But it doesn't seem to be that where performance is always as consistent. And sometimes when you've got less to pick from and you have to play then you're forced into it a little bit. And, and that may have been what happened for a period in the midway of the season. But we are where we are. And I'm, would I change this for anything other than Chesterfield? Not really, because I don't think myself or the staff, we all wished and hoped we'd get you know, close to taking the, the season right to the end with something to play for in a positive sense. But at least we're not having to play the last games of the season worrying about what might be our future. We're at least guaranteed to play in this division, but we still aren't out of the, ch the challenge of going into the next one. And is, I, th I think it does go without saying, but is the belief still there within the squad? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, look, our messages haven't been any different. People will be sick of me saying the same thing, but it's, it is what it is. If I'm not consistent, then how can I expect the, the group to be consistent? Uh, and that's one thing I am. So me, my staff, everybody behind the scenes here all want exactly the same things as the fans. We've said this, the whole thing. But... It may be a little bit too early for us, who knows? But the fact that it's there still and there's an opportunity to grab it, you should never look that gift horse in the mouth because you don't know what's going to happen the first three or four months of next season. There will be changes in personnel. There might be changes in staffing behind the scenes. You never know. So from that point of view, we've just got to take every game as it comes and go and try and win it.